scientists don't know why hundreds of birds are getting sick. Birds are a crucial part of the world's natural ecosystem. Without them, much would be lost. Now, scientists are racing to figure out why they are falling sick en masse to stop a potential tragedy from unraveling. In the Midwest and southern regions of the United States, birds are passing away and falling sick at alarming rates with no explicit explanation. An estimated seven states are affected. Blue jays, European starlings and grackles are among those most affected by the mysterious disease spreading through the bird world. According to avian biologist Kate Stankard of the Kentucky Department of Fish and Wildlife Resources, we are experiencing an unusual amount of bird mortality this year. We have yet to figure out what the problem is. The condition seems to be pretty deadly. The sickly birds are found with puffy eyes, often crusted over with pus and many suffer from seizures and suffer from an inability to stay balanced. Biologists who have examined the birds claim that they act blind even when they have perfectly healthy eyesight and are mentally or instinctively lacking. For example, they cease to fly away when approached, a common avian behavior that ensures their safety. This suggests the sickness removes a bird's self-preservation instincts, making it susceptible to external dangers. In Stankard's words, the birds often sit still, often kind of shaking. Stankard asserts that hundreds of birds across the United States are struggling with the mysterious illness and emphasizes the problem is no longer a minuscule one, but a nationwide issue which worsens each year. Biologists across America promise that they are doing all they can to uncover the cause of this phenomenon. A multi-state research group has formed in an attempt to research the sickness further and hopefully discover a cure to administer into the wild. Even when a cure is found, there is some speculation about how one might get it out into the ecosystem safely. Investigating the issue is time-consuming, requiring samples to be analyzed several times during lab tests to obtain definitive results and often come back inconclusive. Theories have arisen as to what might have caused the illness. Wildlife biologist Laura Kearns poses that pesticides might be causing this widespread avian pandemic and suggests she has heard other people claim a heightened population of cicadas are to blame. Pesticides have been known to negatively impact not only the insects they are made for, but larger ecosystems because mammals and birds feed on poisoned insects, causing the toxicity to affect them. This is not helped by the fact that many pesticides are outlawed in various countries around the world for their extreme toxicity. According to Kearns, in Ohio alone, hundreds of birds have been found, all perishing from the same cause, the unknown sickness. Despite the initial belief that the sickness was a return of the infamous avian influenza, all tests to prove this have come back negative. This illness is something entirely new, and scientists are unprepared. Sick birds from Kentucky have since been sent for analysis at the University of Georgia to be tested by the Southeastern Cooperative Wildlife Disease Study. New Mexican wildlife biologists have also begun reporting abrupt avian fatalities and a shocking decline in their populations. By now, the total avian population loss across America might have reached far beyond 100,000. Unusual Animal Behavior Preceding the 2011 Japan Earthquake Earthquakes are terrifying. As all forces of nature, they destroy all in their wake and can cause many casualties, not to mention millions, if not billions of dollars worth of damaged property. Yet, to add to their terror, animals have been spotted behaving in mysterious ways when earthquakes are about to occur. It's long been known that animals sense oncoming natural disasters, and some scientists believe animal behavior can be analyzed to predict when and where such earthquakes might happen, as it's difficult to predict natural disasters. The specifics as to how these animals know danger is coming or why are not yet definitively known. In 2011, on March 11th, a terrible earthquake took place in Japan and gave researchers much insight into the phenomenon. An estimated 20,000 people perished or disappeared that day, highlighting it as a dark day in Japanese history. Researchers investigated animal behavior prior to the earthquake and their questionnaires uncovered that several hundred pet owners in the region experienced strange behavioral patterns in their animals before the disaster. Cat and dog owners were questioned respectively, 
and 351 out of 1,962 pets were reported to behave strangely. The odd behaviors included increased restlessness, a factor linking all the cases. Cows were also investigated, and research revealed that cows yielded less milk the closer they were to the earthquake's epicenter a week before the earthquake occurred. The fact that animal behaviors were a minority and not a majority brings some doubt to the idea that animal instincts can be used to predict earthquakes, but researchers believe that the project shows promise. Whereas the cow's milk yield fell the week leading up to the natural disaster, the cats and dogs behaved agitated and restless on the day of or the day before the earthquake. Owners reported symptoms of biting owners, panic, barking loudly, hiding, climbing high trees, meowing pathetically and taking kittens outside. In 1995, a similar study was conducted in Japan before the Great Hanshin earthquake. In that report, over half of the pet owners declared strange animal behaviors. Mice in Kobe, one of the cities affected by the earthquake, began fleeing the region en masse the day before. The same thing happened with birds and insect populations, though they fled an estimated hour before the earthquake. It's believed that because animals, dogs and cats especially, can hear sounds inaudible to humans and feel frequencies, they are aware of incoming disasters. Animals have been found to be more sensitive to the natural world regarding changes in the atmosphere and gravity. It's speculated that earthquakes possess physical attributes, such as the release of carbon monoxide and ultra-low frequencies which alert animals to brewing trouble. Scientists discover a continent that had been missing for 375 years. Continents are massive. It might come as a surprise then that scientists recently found a brand new continent hidden away for hundreds of years. A group of geoscientists uncovered the continent of Zealandia, known in the Maori tongue as Tarua Maui. The continent has been recorded but seemingly faded from history books. The continent is believed to have been connected to Gondwana, a supercontinent that existed an estimated 500 million years ago and encompassed a massive portion of both Australia and Antarctica. The very first mention of the continent in the Western world comes from Abel Tasman, a Dutch merchant and sailor from 1642. Tasman remarked his desire to find a mysterious Great Southern Continent in hopes of etching his name into history, a task he struggled with. He had a conflict with the Maori, but was informed by the tribes that a giant landmass resided in the east. Despite Tasman's endless travels, he never uncovered the mythic Great Southern Continent. In 2017, that changed. At some point in history, billions of years ago, the continent tore away from the supercontinent of Gondwana for reasons yet unknown by scientists. At long last, 375 years after Tasman's journey, the continent was finally found. There has been speculation surrounding the mysterious and fabled Zealandia long before its finding. Only now do scientists agree in its existence, all those millions of years ago. Most of Zealandia is flooded, the murky depths concealing it all this time. Yet once the underwater landmass was investigated, it led scientists to wonder why they had not realized its existence sooner. Currently, researchers are trying to etch the history of Zealandia onto paper, to map its existence, its separation from Gondwana, and its downfall into the endless oceanic depths. According to scholar Nick Mortimer, if you think about it, every continent on the planet has different countries on it, but there are only three territories on Zealandia. The continent's strangeness adds to its scientific and geological appeal. Our world is a bizarre place, so we can never truly know what lurks in the skies or beneath the waves. But what are your thoughts on these discoveries? Be sure to let us know in the comments section below and help us grow this community while working to solve these unexplained mysteries. Thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe for more videos.